Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue right triangle uh, ABC fully confined uh, in a square DEFC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC is uh, 54 uh, centimeter square and its uh, side length uh, AB is represented by 2x minus 5. The other side length uh, BC is represented by x uh, plus 5. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. This area, this area, and uh, this area combined. And once again, uh, this uh, is our square DEFC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's make an observation. Uh, we can see the area of this uh, yellow shaded region uh, is equal to the area of this uh, square DEFC and minus uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And we can see the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is already given to us. So therefore, now our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square DEFC. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, x plus 5 and uh, 2x uh, minus 5. And the area is given to us as uh, 54. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, this x variable. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. In our case, uh, our area has been given to us as 54 and uh, our base is uh, x plus 5 and our height is uh, 2x minus 5 in this uh, triangle ABC. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Our area has been given to us uh, as uh, 54 equal to a half times uh, x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. And now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 on both sides of this equation. So therefore, 2 times 54 is going to give us 108 equals to 2 and 1 over 2 is gone. So we got x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. Now let's go ahead and multiply these uh, two binomials on the right hand side uh, by double uh, distribution. So therefore we are going to have 108 equal to 2x uh, square minus uh, 5x uh, plus uh, 10x uh, minus uh, 25. Now let's go ahead and combine the like uh, terms. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have combined these like terms and got uh, positive 5x. And now let's go ahead and move uh, everything on the right hand uh, side. As you can see in this uh, next step, uh, this when we move this uh, 108 uh, on the right hand side becomes negative uh, 108. And then I have combined these uh, like terms. So therefore we ended up with the 2x squared plus 5x uh, minus 133 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping uh, and uh, factoring. And our leading coefficient is uh, 2 and our constant is uh, negative uh, 133. Let me go ahead and multiply 2 times uh, 133. And 2 times uh, 133 is going to give us 266. And here 266 uh, could be written as 2 times 133. And 133 could be written as uh, 7 uh, times uh, 19. And now we can see 2 times 7 is going to give us uh, 14. And then uh, times uh, 19. And if we multiply these uh, two numbers, uh, that is going to be equal to 266. And if we subtract uh, these uh, two numbers, uh, we are going to get uh, this uh, 5. So therefore, I am going to tweak uh, this uh, middle term, uh, positive 5x, uh, as uh, positive 19x minus uh, 14x. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, positive 5x uh, by these one. And now we can see x is in common between first two term and here we have a negative 7 is in common between these last two terms. So therefore we are going to factor out x outside 
So we got uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 19 and then I'm going to factor out negative uh, 7 and we got uh, 2x uh, plus 19 equal to 0. And now we can see 2x plus 19 and 2x plus 19 are in common. So therefore I can write uh, x uh, minus uh, 7 times uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 19 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate uh, these uh, two factors. I can write x minus uh, 7 equal to 0 and the other factor 2x uh, plus uh, 19 equal to 0. And for this uh, first equation our x value turns out to be positive uh, 7. And for this uh, next equation we can see that x uh, turns out to be equal to negative 19 uh, divided by 2. And now we can see x represents the side length. Uh, so this cannot be a negative number. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 7 value. And instead of uh, using this uh, factoring uh, we could have used the quadratic uh, formula to solve uh, this uh, quadratic equation. And now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AB. I am going to replace this uh, x value by 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Minus 5 is going to give us uh, 9 centimeter. And for this side length uh, BC, I am going to substitute this x value by 7 over here. 7 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 12 centimeter. So the side length uh, of this uh, blue right triangle turned out to be 9 and uh, 12. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4, 5. If we multiply all these numbers by 3, then our new Pythagorean triplet is going to become 9, 12 and 15. So therefore our longest leg, this hypotenuse turns out to be 15 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two right triangles AEB and BFC. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume in this uh, triangle, uh, this angle is uh, alpha, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be angle beta. And now we can see that this is our 90 degree angle, this is our angle beta. So therefore, this angle uh, is going to be alpha. And now in this uh, triangle, uh, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is alpha, so therefore this angle has got to be angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, AEB and the other triangle BEC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, we can write uh, EB divided by CF, let me go ahead and write down EB divided by CF is going to be equal to this opposite side is 9 and this is 12. So I can write 9 divided by 12 and on the right hand side 9 divided by 12 could be reduced to 3 divided by 4 and since our ratio on the right hand side is 3 divided by 4 so therefore I can write EB equals to 3 times some constant K and uh, CF uh, is going to be 4 times uh, constant K as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, EB is going to be 3 times K and this uh, side length uh, CF is going to be 4 times K. And since we are dealing with this uh, square DEFC, if this side length uh, is 4K, then this whole uh, side length is going to be 4k as well. This side length uh, is 3k. So therefore uh, this side length uh, FB is going to be 1k. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BFC and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, k. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side c. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So therefore I can write uh, k square plus b is 4k whole square equals to 12 square. And if we simplify everything it turns out to be 17k square equals to 144. 
And now let's divide both sides by 17. So this is this is gone. So k square value turns out to be 144 divided by 17. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length. In our case, our side length uh, is uh, 4k. So therefore, the area of this square dfc is going to be 4k whole square. And that is going to be equal to 16k square. But we know our k square value is 144 divided by 17. So therefore, I can write uh, 16 times 144 divided by 17. And if we multiply these uh, numbers on the right hand side, we are going to get uh, 2304 divided by 17. So thus the area of this uh, square DEFC turns out to be this much. And we already know the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 54. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. And we already figured out this uh, square area. And that is the one. And the blue triangle area is right here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the yellow shaded area is going to be 2304 divided by 17 minus 54. And now if we simplify everything on the right hand side, our yellow shaded area turns out to be 1386 divided by 17. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 1386 divided by 17 centimeters square. And that is approximately equal to 81.53 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.